This is Albert Xavier, and you're watching Friends We Love. And love, only thing that's promised love. to my heart. I was born in New York and uh, raised in DR. Came back and studied here, special ed. Learned English, forgot Spanish, winded it up doing everything that had to deal with arts. Started drawing, then I went from drawing to music, music to acting, doing theater, and then from theater to writing, writing to film. And accidentally, I just became a director one day. I believe that as a director, how I got there, I think that all the elements, the things that I did before that, from music, understanding composition and music composition and what were the rights and the licensing and all that, acting, be able to be able to direct psychologically a person to rip them out of themselves and, and then bringing them into a world of recreating a new character. Writing and, and then cinematography, because I was, I was in love with still photography. I got tired of still images and I wanted to go into moving images. And then from that, be able to train my eye to visually compose a picture. All those elements actually build up this fusion that prepped me to become a director. Y no voy a permitir que digas eso porque tú estás en la casa de Dios. Ok? Vete tranquila, María. This film that I'm releasing now this year uh, is my second Dominican story, you want to say, that uh, portrays a, a true life story of a guy named La Melaza from the capital, Santo Domingo. And he uh, commits a crime. He runs away, hides off in the mountains of the south part of the Dominican Republic, which is the Campo. And there he tries to start this new life, working with his uncle and um, working on the farm of sunflowers. And the film promotes the picturesque mountains of how beautiful this paradise looks like in a small town of like maybe like 2,000, 3,000 people. There, of course, he meets the girl and falls in love with her, and they both fall in love, and later on finds out she's a hermaphrodite. The story of hermaphrodite, the idea was born at the film festival in Cuba with my first film, Red Passport. And I met this, uh, this guy named Fernando Santos Diaz that shared this experience that he lived with a hermaphrodite, which shocked me because I had no idea what a hermaphrodite was. From there, uh, I went on and I started doing research. I actually made it out to India, and Sri Lanka, and Beijing, and China, and El Salvador. And then that's how I got connected to the Dominican Republic and then back to New York. And with all these cases that I was gathering, I was able to come up with a character that I created to actually match up with the true life story that Fernando shared with me in Cuba. And then that's how Amafrodite, Amafrodita was born. I feel privileged being part of a this this uh, new this new market. It's uh, the, what we call the Dominican cine criollo, which is what we've been calling it. I don't want to say that I'm a pioneer because I'm not. I wasn't the first one to actually make make you know Dominican films. I've been studying and watching every film that has been made in the Dominican Republic. Many say that Dominican cinema is dead because of the government functions where there is no laws for filmmaking, there is no protection whatsoever, piracy is like legal, um, there are no scales, there is no star system of you know actors, but I don't believe it's dead. I actually believe that Dominican cinema is right now crawling. It's like a baby. It crawls, then it walks, then I guess it runs, and then, you know, so I think it's going through that process. And I think that we've already crawled enough that now we're actually walking. Within the last two years, it's been a total of like over 20 films. Where the stories keep getting better. Actors are just coming out out of nowhere. And a lot of talent is being discovered from all angles of the, of the country. My thing is just, I just want to capitalize on that market 
just write stories, tons of stories that can be told, beautiful history that, that comes out of that country that no one even knows. Bollywood is out there, Japanese is out there, Iranian cinema is out there, Argentinian cinema, Cuba. Dominican Republic has its own independence to be able to tell stories, just like any other country. Negro. Melaza. Si tú me quieres, bebe de esa botella. Right now, I'm living like in a dream, and I haven't woken up because I'm still waiting for somebody to pinch me and tell you, this is it, this is happening. And what's happening is, is that the film has been selected to premiere in the United States at one of the biggest film festivals for the Latino community called the Chicago Latino Film Festival. We're in negotiations right now with HBO Latino New York, Lima, Peru, Prague, uh, San Sebastián, Mar de Plata, Argentina, Bogotá, Colombia. From all of this, we were also told that the film is actually going to the director's Fortnite and Khan. I'm very, very happy that, and also honored that it is the first Dominican film ever in the history of cinema to be accepted at Khan. Y vuelve otra vez. Rompe cintura.